honestly, if we want to be honest and just out, like, I know this one might hurt your feelings a little bit. One. But two. Um, Discount bourbon review. Oh. The weather just might be a little bit on the too sweet side for me. Oh my god, yo, you busted it. We busted the chair. No. Oh. Rick. Gotta find another chair. Yeah. That's a good one for the bloopers. But yeah, especially since he's gone. The Weller, especially, we just went boom, boom, and boom, right? I think it was technically boom, boom, and boom in order. But we just did a little sippy, tiny, not even half an ounce of the Weller, just to try it and have a little sip, enjoy it. I think it might just be a little bit too sweet for me. Just a tiny, tiny little bit too sweet for me. It's good. It's very good. I could sip that Weller all night long, but it's it's just a little tiny bit on the sweeter side for me. It's very honey focused though. I love that Weller green. It is very good. Just maybe a little bit on the sweeter side. It's early time. Oh. That's a fucking chair. We could share that son of a bitch, dude. You want to share a chair? No, I don't want to share a chair. Oh, I thought it would have been cute. No. Okay, well. You Discount one. furniture review! The trash can is a 2 out of 10 chair. Yeah, now I've upgraded to the Straddling electric fucking cord ottoman. ottoman that we have in the office. You got a little hidden sneak peek while I review for you. Oh, Oh, did you? Yeah. Talking about how you like it, but... Just a little too sweet. Just, well... Just a tiny bit on the sweet side for me. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a favorite. I like it. It's, it's sweet. It's very it's good. My favorite first one to drink, and then maybe the one to tuck you into bed, very but it's nothing good. chewy. It's nothing, you know, something to chew on or write home about. But... I think the tucking you into bed's real good. You know when you go to bed and you want a slice of cake... Just like a little bit of ice cream. You want that little bit of dessert. That little bit of sweetness to end the night. Weller's Special Reserve is that sweetness to end the night. I, I can 100% agree with that. Extra hidden Weller review. <laughs> Maybe blooper review. <laughs> yeah. uh, today's video, we're supposed to be doing the 100 proof 15, 20, and $25 bottle. I did, right. I did spend about 25 maybe closer to 28 but this is the leader. That's We're talking leader. about the 750 price. So this about Same 750 here. is about that 15 This Trade. already is that 750 so we're already good there. So we had to do a little bit of math there. But for the 750 15 20, 20 25. 25 And they should just right yep. there on the side. Yep. All right. Well, what are you expecting out of this one? Which one are you expecting to like the most? Which one are you expecting to like the least? Well, these are all 100 proof, yep. and we know 100 proof is going to have just a little bit more of that kind of caramel and vanilla nose that something like an 80 proof or a 90 proof is going to have. It's going to get a little bit spicier. There oh. should be a little bit more of those extractions coming out of that wood. We would hope so. We would At hope the very so. Least. I'm not making any predictions about so. someone here, but... But let's go ahead and pull these bottles back and let's let's show what the pour looks like because I'm actually very intrigued by the uh, color change no, it's, between these three different bottles. It absolutely. Two of them being a bottled in bond. They're and all of them being no, no, uh, no, no, no. The Rebel 100 is not bottled in bond, but it's at least two years in Kentucky. Um, but for them all being roughly two to four years old, all we have quite a color difference. Yeah. Yeah. All 100 proof. No, well, it's very interesting. It looks like, at least from my angle here, it looks like the early times is the darkest one, and the Evan Williams being the brightest one. And it looks like we're starting off with the Rebel, Rebel 100. Here. I figured we would have started off with the Evan Williams, but the Rebel 100 is a good start off as well. And now we we've already done full reviews on these guys. You can find them on the channel as well. So we're not going to go too in depth on these guys today. But we just want to get these noses, these palettes real quick. And then the cocktail. Ooh. I do like the nose of the Rebel 100. It's a good nose. Yeah, that banana. Real prominent there. Real sweet. Easy sip. It Easy doesn't sip. fight you. No, it doesn't. It does not fight you. No matter how you take it. Go for that cocktail of the Rebel 100. Just see how it compares to sipping neat. 
We do a three to one Sprite to a whiskey mixture. Roughly. Roughly. Hard to measure what we're doing here. Hard to measure, especially if the cans are in there. That's true. We might need another can, actually. Discount can run. All right. But, Rebel 100, just while my man Jay over here is grabbing some more Sprite from the continued mixers of the early times in the Evan Williams, mixing the Rebel it is a lot... It brings out a lot more of those sweet, fruity vibes of the Rebel 100, and I can really get behind it. I wasn't really expecting to like it that much, but with a Sprite, I can really get behind that. I'm just going to top this guy off. I didn't use all my Sprite, but boom, right there for you. But it really brings out a lot of that red fruit, and with the citrus, the, the lemon-lime of the Sprite, it's a really good mixture, and I can really get behind that on the Rebel 100. Now I'm a little behind it. Of course, I had to go run an errand, but Rebel 100 is something I've sipped a little bit more than dill. It's in uh, my side of the shared collection. And I, I enjoy it. I think it's a great weeded sip. And of course, I like them a little sweet. I like them with a little bit of bite. Now, that says a lot about me, but Rebel Whiskey means it's good for me. So, all in all, I think I'm going to give them a real solid eight. Oh, we're and going to I think off I'm going to designate. Already. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go off numbers. And I'm going to designate him as primarily neat, but I think he's a sip. I think he's a cocktail drink, too. I think 75 25. I think my man Jay here might be being a little too ambitious already starting off with the numbers. I'm going to wait off on it. We're going to go off. I want to at least go to the early times because then I'll have a secondary judge and I'll start giving numbers there. All right. All right. I'll, I'll reserve judgment and we'll go ahead and we'll uh, do this pour up of the early times. The let's... early times. We're starting with the 25. Now we're moving to the 20. Let's be fair. We got a <laughs> second air in here. I'll go, I'll go run this second air in here. You already ran one, so go ahead and talk, tell us a little bit more about that Rebel 100, or anything you might even be able to tell us about the uh, early... Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Every little thing. Discount bourbon review! That's the discount Paper towels are in there, bud. Paper... What? Are they over in here? Yeah, oh, yeah they look at them right there. All right, we'll do a jump cut. It's all right. No, I don't have to know about any of that. Discount paper towel. <laughs> yeah, we uh, are gonna have to make a cut in this video. Dylan got up and knocked in our limited over. set knocked everything over. Literally, <laughs> it was it was quite the catastrophe. Minus the bottles, the bottles were safe. <laughs> bottles if you want to see safe. that, let us know in the comments. Right, but here we are, early times bottle and bond. Of course, we want to clean out the glass in between each. The whiskey and the uh, sprite does a pretty good job of diluting it out, but we don't want to be unfair here i don't want that i liked the rebel but i don't want it to change my early times in any way we all know i'm a big fan of that early times already and we had a couple people asking but we are sipping out of these little stranahan's i call them snifters because they're not quite a whole glen karen but they're uh, i call them a little snifter i went on that distillery tour and that's why i got a couple bottles over here not even own them. They were gifts. <laughs> yes, double fermentation still I'm very jealous of. You'll have to check out that review when me and Dylan get into that one. That one's going to be a special one for sure. But getting into the early times, of course, we're working our way from the, the most expensive that we got here, $750, down to the least expensive. And, oh, hey, get out of here, buddy. Yeah, I know. I trying to get him a second ago. I know. There's that for you. But I'm a big fan of the early times. Mixer, straight, I'm a big, big fan, especially for the price of the little... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. A little even? We want to keep it fair and equal here in Discount Bourbon Review. That's what man. we're talking about. But the early times has always had a lot of those really strong pepper notes, spices, anise, a lot of yeah. really interesting flavors. And so I've always been a really big fan of it. This one, the Rebel was a part of Josh's part of the contribution of the, the collection. The early times is more my side of it. I'm a big, big fan of it, both neat and mix. And he needs to get on out of here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could sit here and sniff the early times all day, honestly. That's how I am with some other whiskeys up here. He's got some spice to him. He's got some peppercorn. He does. Some red fruit. He absolutely does. Ooh, that peppercorn hits strong, too. He's right up there in front. He is very prominent. On sip number one, I really get a lot of that wood. I get a lot of that char. I get a lot of that oak characteristic. 
I can agree with that heavily. And then he Ooh. kind of subsides into some He sweetness. mellows out very he fast. He does. He mellows out. He never reaches too high of a peak. No. You know what I mean? That's one of my favorite things about it. They're, because at least two of them, they're bottled and bond. This one's not. But they're all still 100 proof. I feel like he never gets too, too much ethanol, too loud. You know what I mean? No. And take him into three to one. I like the color that he presents to the glass. Yeah. Very light. Just enjoyable. Light on the palate, wonderful taste, even with a Sprite. It pulls back on the oakiness. It, it always does. enhances those sugary, sweet, brown sugar notes. Absolutely does. But I think that he's still defiant. I think that he's still there. But as far as bringing anything extra to the party, that remains to be seen. Oh, yeah. But that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the, those 25 to $15 whiskeys. 15 to 25 That's right. A I mean, lot of the time... are not asking much. No, and you can't expect too crazy much. You know what I mean? But these Evan Williams is up here next. And the Evan Williams... Bottled and bond, so we know it's at least supposed to be a quality whiskey. I know personally, I'm not excited for it. Pers uh, it's just I mean, you have thing. to check out that review. You will. Dylan gave his points where he gave his points. But... Uh, the Evan Williams bottled and bond has not impressed me. So we'll see where it goes. Especially, there's always a difference when you're just tasting the whiskey by itself and when you're really trying to compare the different ones. You know what I mean? It allows you to find those different notes and flavors in it. We're really going to have to get some better glasses. Or some, uh, yeah, better glasses. These thrift store glasses we got here. You want to throw that shit away? Yeah, sure. Boom. Boom. Right Perfect. there. Where are we spilling stuff? <laughs> I, I believe it. Would you have it any other way, guys? I, I believe it was Josh that said it. If you don't spill a little bit of the bottle, did you really enjoy it? Spill one out for the homies, guys. Just for a little bit. Actually, yeah. after going through all these, there's a little bit more caramel. Mm -hmm. It's a, le a lot less ethanol. I can all agree. Sharp than I can our, agree uh, that we did the other day. I can agree that I feel like there's a little bit less ethanol up front when we're comparing them all across the board. Just I've had these back to back, a little bit less ethanol than I initially believed, which was a surprise coming out of that Evan Williams video. I don't. Let's try. Yeah. You know, actually, he's not as loud. As I thought in the Evan Williams video. Of course, coming off two 100s right before him. Well, yeah. But he, he uh, isn't as loud as you'd expect. He comes off a little bit smoother than I initially thought. Whenever you're able to try him back to back like this and really get the the range of it. Maybe it was just the price tag that I was like, oh, he's going to be loud. He's going to be rough. Maybe but the two half shots before him. But... Maybe. <laughs> very easily could be. But. Put a comment down if you want to see us do it in reverse. If you don't think it's fair enough. That's true. That is true. I do think we maybe should have started with the Evan Williams and worked our way up. Maybe the Rebel in the early times have elevated our views of the... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that second one caught me. Ooh. Maybe, maybe. Was it too much ethanol? Was he loud? Yeah, it was just a little rough. I took him straight, didn't chew him up. Okay. And it was just a little, get your stank face. Get okay. your stank face. No, that was some stank face for sure. That was stank face. We're going to have to keep that in account. With the Sprite, though, it's easy going down. Pounded him back before you could see it. Very open. But the color was much lighter than some of the other ones. Oh, yeah. Seen. It absolutely was. Yeah. But that's just to be expected with mm -hmm. how light it is compared to the... I'm going to turn them around this way so hopefully you can see them a little bit better. Even the early times are darkest here. I mean, it's, it's a little to be expected. But a lot of smoke, a lot of oak off that when it was mixed together. I agree. There was a good smoke and oak characteristic without it being too aggressive. Yeah. I think there was a bit less of some of the caramel notes that I detect with some of the weeded bourbons that I'll mix up. But all in all... Evan Williams bottle of bond. I really liked it this time around. Yeah. I think I, I may give a more favorable score than we did in that original video. I, I tend to agree with that. When we're trying them back to back, in the early times, we all know, big fan of the early times. When we're trying them back to back to the early times, the Rebel 100, I can give the Evan Williams a little bit more credit than I did before. I'm willing to admit that. Mm -hmm. So, with all that in mind, 
We're going to go with nose, taste, price, and the overall score real quick. Keep those three in mind. Just go ahead and digest those yourself. Okay. If you guys want to see the big reviews on them, go check the reviews on them. Let's give an overall score, and let's settle this thing out. Okay. I think I'm going to do it in ranks for nose, palate, and then overall. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. So, for nose, I think what we have here is perfect. Rebel, early times, and then the Evan ones. The Rebel's nose is very complex, very wonderful. I can come back to him every day. The early times we know we love, but it's predictable. We can come back to it and we know what we're going to find. Mm -hmm. The Evan Williams, it's that $14 bottle. We know what we're going to come to. It's you know what you're ethanol. getting, dude. You know, you know what, what you're, you're going to get, getting at. <laughs> Absolutely. So for nose, I think what we have here is wonderful. For taste, I'm just going to swap around like this. I think taste-wise, I'm still a bigger fan of the, uh, the early times. The Rebel, and then the Evan Williams. The Evan Williams mixed, wonderful, but these two I can do neat any day of the week. Hmm. I think for price, I might have to do it the same way. You think this this is the, your lineup, right? Yeah. Here. One, two, and three? That's my lineup right there. Now I'm going to be real stinky here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be real stinky here. I think I'm going to have to swap you back around the other way. I think it's fair. Just the way we laid them out. Yep. Because I think Evan Williams, he is absolutely a great bottle. Comma, but you spend just a little bit more dollar, you're going to get a little bit more complexity. You but spend five more dollars, you get the shelf bottle that Evan, uh, early time. This, right is all, this is all taste for me. Yeah. This is all taste for me. Okay. If we're talking about the overall budget bourbon winner. For this category, 15 20 $25, I think i got to give it to the early times. I think that it's going to be complex. I think that it's going to be a good bite for you. I think it's going to be something a little bit more than just well whiskey that you're going to like. But I think if you also spend $5 more, you're really going to enjoy that Rebel 100. The Rebel but 100 is very good. Very, I, I can understand. Good. $20 a bottle, I mean... For a lot of people, that's just it's hard an hour, to beat. hour half work. And I mean, when you get 20 sips on that, how do you beat it? It's hard to beat. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, if it's uh, 20 ounces and it's $20, that's a dollar an ounce. Dollar an ounce. That's, that's a dollar fifty a drink. Why are you going to the bar? <laughs> yeah, no. Even for that Evan Williams, you're going to end up spending five, six dollars a shot at the bar. So, I mean, we're talking dollar fifty, dollar twenty five, maybe two dollars a shot at home. At the bar, we're still talking eight, eight, and eight for whatever fucking reason. Oh, but eight, eight, and maybe nine, ten, or twelve, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. But in that price range, I think if you're taking them at home, early times is a good one. It's going to be available. Especially for the price, it's hard to beat. I'm a big, big fan of the early times. The early times, this is my bottle. And we can see we're finishing them up on them. I'm going to be getting a new bottle real quick. Big that's what you call a business time. expense. Yeah, that's what exactly what we call a business <laughs> expense. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. I'm fucked up. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be chilling here for a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Let's get some dinner. Ooh.